Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. The SNP in general, and Hamza Yousaf in particular, keep spending money uh, on party political matters. This is public money that he's spending that should be reserved for public good deeds, governmental business, not party political. And he's now being warned by the Tories to stop doing it. After all, uh, independence is a reserved matter. It's not something the SNP should be involving themselves in at a governmental level. If they want to talk about independence, fine, but they do so at party level. Uh, and it's up to them as a party to try and some do something about it, not them as a government. But of course, they can't help themselves. They've got to keep doing it. Uh, and there may well be some pushback against this. But we'll take a look at this article to see why um, they just can't help themselves but keep spending money that isn't theirs on something that they want, that the majority don't, even after being told that they shouldn't do it by government, by civil servants and by the authorities. Here goes. So SNP warned against spending public money on independence and made its new Skexit push. This is taxpayers' money that is only being spent on one party's aims, that aim being that of the SNP. They're not spending public money on what the Tories want or what Labour want only on what the SNP want. And if that's the case, that should be the SNP's money being spent. But it isn't. Hamza Yousaf welcomed his party's latest independent strategy, but has been warned by the Scottish Tories against utilising taxpayers' cash to advocate breaking up the UK. Well, they haven't got any cash of their own. That's the problem, because they've got falling membership, falling support. Uh, a lot of the corporate people, the old corporate donors, have pulled away because they don't want to be sort of assigned and listed with... A, losers, and B, potentially uh, criminals. So they're, they're easing back. So the SNP don't have any cash. So they've got to use public money. Now, if they're using public money like that, I'm just going to say embezzlement. Anyway, or at least misuse of public funds. Uh, the SNP have been warned against spending public cash on pushing to break up the UK as they look set to launch a renewed push for independence. The Scottish Government have already spent thousands of pounds uh, on independence, uh, the Scottish oh, oh. the SNP have been warned against spending public cash on pushing to break up the UK as they look set to launch a renewed push for independence. Uh, the Scottish Government have already spent thousands of pounds of taxpayer cash on its Skexit, uh, Skexit prospectuses, and that's not including the many thousands, hundreds of thousands, possibly up to a million pounds on staff. Twenty. Um, 20 civil servants working directly on this. You've got the printing costs. You've got the design costs. You have £120,000 a year minister. You know, none of it within the, uh, the within the rules because nothing, nothing that they do is under the purview of the SNP or the Scottish Government. It's a reserved Westminster matter. And so they need to be handed a bill for all this. Anyway, after Hamza Yousaf welcomed the new strategy, which wasn't a strategy he backed, indeed the strategy he wanted wasn't even backed by him, because he knows both of them are terrible and pointless, uh, it involves them campaigning at the next general election on independence, which is different from every other campaign apparently they've ever done. What a great idea. Uh, with the majority of seats now being used as a mandate for the Nationalists to request a second referendum. But of course it isn't, uh, no matter what they call it, it isn't going to be a mandate. And anyway, they're going to lose, aren't they? Uh, the Scottish Tories have demanded that they promise to spend no more public money on this issue. But they won't make that promise because they've got no money of their own. You know, it's um, if they don't spend public money, they, they, they're, they're dead in the water, aren't they? And so we need to build them. We need to build them for all this public money. It's not their money. Uh, the Constitution is reserved to Westminster, with the Scottish Parliament not having the power to legislate for it. The Supreme Court ruling compounded this and completely derailed Nicola Sturgeon's plans for an independence vote on October the 19th. Just think, another two days' time you'll be going and voting. Only it isn't going to happen because the, the Supreme Court says, no, you're full of shit, which we know. Scottish Tory Party uh, Chairman Craig Hoy has urged the Nationalists to spend party cash on this push instead of taxpayers' money because it isn't the party's money uh, and it is only a party issue. This could, be, this could be a tall order for the SNP considering the huge cash flow issues it's suffering, uh, including being £800,000 in the red according to its latest accounts 
and very little coming in. And they still have all these bills to pay. Uh, but it's very likely that someone may well give them a winding up order. That's not uh, inconceivable. He said that normal Scots would be appalled if their money was being utilised by the SNP to continue this relentless and pointless pursuit of Skexit. He pointed out to an amendment in their latest strategy, which will use digital and print campaign assets, which are aimed at boosting support for independence. Uh, it also committed to the Nationalists working in partnership with Yes Groups and promoting pro-independence voices from across Scotland. Uh, with 800,000, sorry, £80,000 of public cash already being utilised to produce the prospectuses during this parliamentary term. Now, the 80000 was only the printing costs. It wasn't the build-up, it wasn't the editing, it wasn't all the time spent by 20 civil servants working on this for years. It's millions of pounds in total, it really is. Um, the Scottish Government is currently undergoing a funding crisis. Uh, no. It's not currently undergoing. It's been undergoing it for a long time. It's not anything new. Uh, and it's getting worse because they keep overspending because they've got no controls. They don't know what they're doing. Um, it has a potential £1 billion black hole in its finances over the next few years. Uh, and the NHS is at breaking point with Dr Ian Kennedy of the British Medical Association saying he expects the worst winter ever in the health service. But meanwhile, they're still wanking money away left, right and centre and not doing their day job, because independence is way more important, apparently, than people's lives. Both the Scottish Police Federation and the Fire Brigade Union have warned of the threat of people's lives if the SNP impose more cuts to emergency services, and they've been campaigning for more cash in the settlements they get from government. Everything is falling apart, and I mean everything, because they're wanking money away on independence, they're concentrating only on that, the real day-to-day -day job that actually affects real people is thrown away. They don't care. Mr Hoy said, The SNP's conference has made it crystal clear that independence will be front and centre of the party's next general election campaign. Every other issue will be pushed aside in order for the nationalists to continue the relentless push of another referendum, which eventually, if they get, they will still lose. The latest campaign is, to set, uh, is set to start in a matter of weeks. During a cost of living crisis, it would be appalling if any public money was spent on this latest push to break up the United Kingdom. No public money at any time ever should be ever spent on party matters. Uh, as we rapidly head towards winter, there are far more urgent issues to which demand the SNP's attention than their constitutional obsession. That, their only obsession, yeah, they obsess over independence, but only slightly less than they over than their, than their in, you know. Uh, obsession with children. Those are the two things that the SMB are really obsessed with. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Why do they want obs they want independence so that no one can question them and then they want access to children? <laughs> Tell you what, makes you worried, doesn't it? He says, our emergency services are warning that people will die if the SNP continue to impose cuts on them. Those are the issues that the real priorities facing Scotland. Money should be, sent, so should be spent on supporting people uh, struggling with the cost of living crisis and our public services, which are overwhelmed on the SNP's watch. Scotland simply cannot afford the SNP wasting taxpayers' money yet again on their independence obsession. The SNP has been approached for a comment, but comment came there not because they know the truth is so bad for them. And there he is, uh, the chief Muslim of the Scottish Council who wants to eradicate all the Jews from the face of the world. Uh, because of his obsession and support of uh, Hamas. Uh, a man who wants to sexualise children because of the policies he's been drafting and never gainsaid. Uh, a man who's quite happy with jack-booted brown shirts going around and threatening former partner, uh, uh, members of the party. Never said a word against it. He's a particularly nasty little man, isn't he? But little in every way. Little in stature, little in intellectual uh, capacity and little when it comes to basic humanity. Soon be gone though, soon be gone. Enjoy your last conference as leader. Tick tock, it soon be all gone. Coming up. They have got it right though, haven't they? The SNP waste money left, right and centre on obsessive um, rate campaigns of this, of that, of the other, but they never actually spend money where it needs to be spent, you know, where people want it to be spent. 
healthcare, social care, education, that sort of thing. No, no, no. But it's always spent on, let's do a policy here. It won't actually work, but it looks good. Here, let's spend a million on this. Doesn't work, but it makes me look good for five minutes. And it's all about image and nothing ever about substance or about results. And that means they really are a, a, an absolute terrible organisation. But I do think that, uh, they, you know, the time has come. They need to be outlawed for the sake of decency. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been uh, educational for you. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, stay well away from the SNP because they are dangerous. Bye.